an abridged reading of Alien Covenant. Interior. A white room. The future. Michael Fassbender, in a skin-tight white suit, talks to an old guy. Who am I? Who are you? I'm your daddy. You're a robot. Play me some Wagner while I ruminate on the mysteries of life. Okay. Where do you think humanity came from, kiddo? I'm not sure, but it seems weird that nobody's figured that out yet since we live in the future. You're right, it does seem weird. Maybe humanity is the result of an essentially random combination of factors that just so happen to result in life on Earth which then developed into humanity through natural selection and evolution. I don't think so. Something must have created humanity. We made art and stuff. That can't be random. You mean like a precursor race of really pale bald guys? Yes, that sounds about right. But then, who created them? Were they the result of random chance? Yes, I suppose so. So really, humanity is the result of a biological anomaly, just indirectly. Good point. Obviously a race of paler, balder guys must have created the pale bald guys who created humans. But then who created the paler, balder guys? Look, it's pale bald guys all the way down, okay? Don't think about it. Interior. A big spaceship. Further into the future, a different Michael Fassbender walks around the ship and steals a baby. Okay, Walter, we're about to hit a negative space wedgie. Thanks, Mom. Do you want to do anything about that? Maybe wake up the crew so they can get ready? Ugh, give me ten more minutes. Ten minutes later. Hey, Walter, we just hit a negative space wedgie. What, really? Yeah, really, everything's exploding and 50 colonists are dead. Do you want to do anything about that? Uh, wake up the crew, I guess. Okay. Ow, I hit my head. Why don't these pods have seatbelts? Oh no, James Franco's pod won't open. Why don't these pods have fail-safes? Oh no, James Franco, who I am emotionally attached to, is stuck in his pod. Get away from there, Ripley. My name's not Ripley. Activating emergency pod cremation. Why is that? Oh no, James Franco is dead! Interior, not Ripley's room. Very slightly further into the future, all of James Franco's stuff is on the bed. Oh, James Franco, why did you have to die so young? I'm gonna take this nail that we were gonna build a house with and put it on a necklace in case I need to build any houses later. Interior, spaceship bridge. Everyone is very sad because James Franco died. I know we're all very sad because James Franco died and also so did 50 colonists and 20 babies, but we have to stick together and fix the ship before we also die. We should at least acknowledge that James Franco died and also so did 50 colonists and 20 babies. I just did acknowledge that. Hey, I'm a cowboy and nobody likes you. That's fair, I'm kind of an idiot. Interior, a side room. Captain Jesus and female minority character are talking about how much of an idiot he is. Nobody trusts me because I believe in Jesus. They think I'm going to make some sort of stupid irrational decision just because of my faith. That's weird, why would they think that? You believe in me, right? Uh... Interior, Cargo Bay. Not Ripley and Walter are making sure the plot device, I mean, the terraforming truck is stable. James Franco and I were gonna build a house when we got to the planet we're going to. Now what do I do? Build it anyway. I love you. I mean, I'll help you. Thanks, Walter. You're such a good android. Interior, Spaceship Bridge. The crew has received a rogue transmission from somewhere in space. I'm telling you guys, that's a country song from a hundred years ago. I remember it because I only listened to country songs from a hundred years ago. Well, where's it coming from? Who knows? We're in space. It could be coming from literally anywhere in the vast, uncaring emptiness. Hey, look, the signal source is like five minutes away. Male black character, what's the deal with that planet? Uh, it's almost exactly like Earth and even more habitable than the planet we were originally going to. How come we didn't notice it when we were looking for planets to colonize? Who cares? Party planet! It's going to take seven years to get to the planet we were going to and none of us want to get into our hypersleep pods because we're scared of hitting our heads like James Franco. Hmm. Good point. Let's go to this other planet instead. We'll just colonize that. Captain, I must make a formal objection. Going to this other planet is a terrible idea. Are you saying I'm making a stupid, irrational decision? No, I'm, I'm just saying. Are you saying I can't be trusted to lead this crew because of my faith in Jesus? Is that what you're saying, Ripley? What? No, I'm Too just... late, we're going. Exterior, the other planet. There's all kinds of storms all over the place, and it's definitely not a nice place to be. This is definitely not a nice place to be. Shut up, Ripley. My name's not Ripley. Hey, guys, just so you know, this planet's covered in storms and our communications are all messed up, so we can only talk when it's convenient for a plot. Hey guys, wait up. I'm gonna go relieve myself in the bushes of this alien planet that we know nothing about. Hey, what's this spore thing I stepped on? Did you inhale anything from the spore? No. Whoa, what's this huge spaceship that is mysteriously on this abandoned planet? Hey, look, dog tags. They say Elizabeth Shaw. Who's that? She was in the last movie. She disappeared ten years ago. Weird. Probably not related to all this, though. Hey, guys, I know we're on an alien world and we have no idea if any of this stuff is okay for humans, but I found this really cool spore thing and I'm gonna touch it. Did you inhale anything from the spore? 
No. Hey everyone, Deadward is dying of a spore thing. Help, I am also dying of a spore thing. Okay, everyone go back to the landing shuttle. Cowboy's wife, prep the med bay. Okay. Interior. Landing shuttle. Come on, Deadward, stop choking to death for like two seconds. Oh my god, he just puked all over you. It's probably nothing. Oh no, his blood is all over my face now. Female minority character, I'm shutting you in here as quarantine. What? What are you doing? You could be contaminated. I can't let you out. What about all his blood on your face? Sorry, can't hear you. Gonna go tell the captain. Captain Jesus here. What's the sitch? <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Hold on, I'm gonna go shoot it. Wait, ah, it's an alien. Rawr. Ah, I slept on the blood. Ah, it's eating my face. Ah, it ate your face. Ah, I slept on the blood. See you later, suckers. Wait, hold still so I can shoot you instead of those explosive parts on the wall. Bye. <laughs> Hey, what's happening down there? Is something happening? You'd tell me if my wife was dead, right guys? And also if Deadward and female minority character were dead? And also Beard Guy? Hold on, Beard Guy, we're all to the ship. Exterior, Wheatfield. Another alien crawls out of Beard Guy and all the trained military operatives fail to shoot either of the two aliens. Oh no, my husband is dead. Oh no, that other guy is also dead. Ah, the alien ate my hand. Do not fear, humans, for I have a magic flare gun. Whoa, it's Jesus. Obi-Wan Kenobi, is that you? No, but I am your only hope. Follow me. Interior. Creepy cave building thing. Humanoid bodies frozen in some weird black stuff litter the place. Is it safe here? There's two aliens outside. It's super safe here. Definitely very safe. Are you sure? Because there's a bunch of open- Shut up, Ripley. My name is not Ripley. So what happened to this place? Who are you? They call me Tidy Whitey Mikey. David for short. At the end of the last movie, Elizabeth Shaw and I came here looking for the pale bald guys who made humanity. What? But the ship we were on had this super deadly bioweapon, so I killed all the pale bald guys with it and dissected Shaw for my genetic engineering experiments. Cool. Do you have a bar? Interior. David's workshop. Walter comes in while David is playing a handmade flute. Somehow he doesn't notice all the alien creation experiments everywhere. My model of android was made to be less human than yours because you're weird. Here, let me help you play this flute. No, I don't know how. Too bad. Wanna make out? What? I mean, you're Michael Fassbender. I I'm Michael Fassbender. Hey, you know that poem about Ozymandias? Yes, the one by Percy Yes, Fist by Byron, exactly. That poem was definitely by Byron. Interior, bathroom. Some lady who was also on the crew got bit by bugs or something and is healing her wounds, I guess. Gee, I sure am glad this place is completely safe or else one of those aliens might sneak up in here and stand behind me completely silently. Hey, what's up? Lord! Hey, has anyone seen that other lady who was also on the crew? I'll go look for her. Shut up, Ripley. <laughs> Whoa, an alien. Boy, they sure grow fast. Ah! It's the alien! I'm gonna shoot it! No, wait, don't shoot. And it's dead. Thanks. Tell me what's really going on here. <sighs> okay, I've been performing genetic engineering experiments on the aliens because I'm bored. I mean, I've been so alone here ever since I murdered the entire planet and also Elizabeth Shaw. Hey look, it's that thing from the original movies. You wanna touch it? If I do, is a face hugger gonna jump out at me? What? No, don't be ridiculous. Go on, touch it. Hmm. Okay. Ah, a face hugger! <laughs> so what happens now? Well, you know how those aliens you saw are white? Yeah. This one's gonna be black and have spots. Bikes. What? What one? Blarg! Interior. David's workshop. Walter confronts David about all the bad stuff he's done. You killed all the pale bald guys and also Elizabeth Shaw, didn't you? Yeah, totally. Hey, remember the flute? Good times, right? Who wrote Ozymandias again? Byron. Actually, it was Shelley. So, it was written 300 years ago. Who cares? Oh yeah, I forgot we're in the future. You wanna make out? Sure, I guess. Hey, you're not gonna stab me with that flute, are you? Surprise, next stab! <laughs> Interior. Some room with scrolls or something. I'm, I'm lost. Whoa, David totally killed Elizabeth Shaw. Sure did. Get away from me. Surprise chin stab. What is this? It's a nail. I was going to build a house with it. Is that some kind of narrative payoff? Not really. Oh. Wanna make out? Not on my watch, me. But I stabbed you in the neck. Psh, I downloaded Norton anti neck stab like three months ago. It's... Oh, whatever. Back to the workshop. Hey, alien food. Do you see Captain Jesus anywhere? Yeah, he's dead and also he got chest bursted. Weird. Ah, face hugger. Ah, I failed my weapons training test. Ah, it's hugging my face. Ah, I'm gonna cut it off you. Ah, it's got acid blood or something, I guess. Okay, it's dead. We're safe. There's a black alien on the ceiling. What did you say? Lord! I'm not sure where this is, but David and Walter are fighting now. I've got upgrades, Tidy Whitey Mikey. And also only one hand. Why did you do that? Because I love Ripley. My name isn't Ripley! It's over, David. Even if you kill me, the others will know who you are. After all, your face is messed up in a completely different way to mine. And also you have both hands. And also your haircut is messier. And also your voice is different. Well, it seems you are my superior in every way. 
I couldn't possibly win this duel unless you were stupid enough to let me monologue while I very obviously reach for the knife you dropped. Not Ripley and Two-Face run outside and wait for Cowboy to come down with the cargo shuttle. Walter runs out after them and the alien runs out after him. Hey, Two-Face and Ripley, get in! Uh, Guys, wait for me! Surprise crane squish! Now they're back on the ship and everything's good. I sure am glad to be back on the ship where everything's good. Where a male black character and that other lady. Oh, they're taking a shower together, and also Two Face actually got face hugged, but like in a slow way, and now there's another alien on the ship, and also it's already fully grown, even though it's only been like an hour. Hey, let's make out in the shower. Is that an alien scorpion tail touching my butt, or are you just. Ah, now you're dead! Ah, now I'm dead! Borg! Okay, cowboy, we're gonna lure it into the cargo bay and trap it in that truck from the beginning of the movie, and then release the truck into space, but you and I both have to go in there and release the truck manually because there's no way to do it from the bridge for some reason. Be careful, you guys. I'm just gonna sit here and watch on my cameras. And stuff. Hey, is there a party in the cargo bay? What are we all doing in here? Come over here. The party is inside this truck. Oh, cool. Psych! The truck is stuck. Release the second truck! But we only have three trucks! Just do it! Whoa, I'm in space now. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get, alien. Hope you like space. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna jump back into the ship. Ripley, watch out! The third truck is coming straight at you and it has a giant claw fork thing that looks like it's gonna hit you in the back, but it's probably not going to because you're the main character. Don't worry, I'll just jump down onto the ledge conveniently located below this airlock. Hey, what are you guys blurg we did it cowboy we killed the aliens interior whatever room has the hypersleep pods in it cowboy is in his pod and not ripley gets in hers how are you feeling ripley i'm okay when we get to the first planet we were going to will you help me build my log cabin i don't know what you're talking about but i very clearly told you about it at the beginning of the oh my god you're the other you you're tidy whitey mikey you cut off your hand completely redid your hairstyle and also stole walter's clothes and then you also healed your face and cut your cheeks so you could trick the audience even though neither i nor any of the others would notice if you hadn't done that oh yeah did i forget to mention that <laughs> Uh, why? <laughs> hey, spaceship, play me some Wagner while I puke up these alien embryos and put them in storage with the other ones. You got it, David. Captain's log. A negative space wedgie has killed all of the crew except for Ripley and Cowboy, and also 50 colonists and 20 babies. And also, we somehow picked up two alien embryos. And also, I'm recording this three weeks after it happened. I don't know why I'm bothering to send this back to headquarters since I'm no longer pretending to be Walter. End transmission. It's finally over! Now, time for the sequel.